Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh, who this word ignorantly calls God. The true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh, Shah, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem, in the name, and Rakakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. Also want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders, a great millstone every well, and peace and blessing unto the whole full elect. I am your fellow servant, your Wanathon, coming from the great millstone West Palm Beach Church, and low willingness lessons that are fine. And um even though, you know, dealing with the whole the dock, you know, as far as the strike, even though there was a deal being made or a deal was made, I still want to speak upon this video. All right, and I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna try to make this lesson too long. Um, at Costco, it's freaking massive. Something's going on. Let me look at it, and it even snakes all the way from over there, back there, around here. And it's gonna take me literally more than a minute to walk all the way down here. If there's any good samples. Nuts. Insane. Now, what the video shows is basically, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what area this is, but it shows you that a hey, people were in Costco, a uh, panic buying, okay, hoarding, uh, um. You know what does it say? Doc strike fear. All right. So basically, with the whole docks, before they made the deal, you know, a lot of transport would be limited. You know, meaning that a lot of goods would not make it to the stores. Okay, and this caused what this caused the people to go out and panic buy, and the same scenario happens when, let's say, it's a cut uh, of a catastrophic uh, storm or a pestilence, not a pestilence, but more so a disaster uh, 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 strikes in an area, you know, like a hurricane. What does people what, what do people do? They stock up on gas and they go to the grocery store and stock up on water, you know, stock up on toilet paper, you know, and it's all men for hey, everybody for themselves, you see, and what I just wanted to speak upon was more so dealing with if it's like that when things are good, how much more, all right, when a hey, things go to shit, all right, because in this lifetime, you will see a time like never before, all right, and in the Bible, it is called the time of Jacob's trouble, but more so, it's just the beginning, the beginning to the end of Esau Edom's kingdom, all right? When we say Esau, referring to the self-proclaimed white man, all right? And every Edomite would not appear in, uh, you know, as a so-called white man, just like every Israelite is not going to be a so-called black man. But nevertheless, um, let's begin Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. All right, so blessed is he that read it and hear the words of this prophecy. And when you go to the book of Isaiah real fast, all right, because there's no Bible, I mean, there's no other book on the planet Earth that is, you know, that's foretelling you what will play out in the latter times, right? And the Heavenly Father has given his men all right, the Holy Spirit to be able to understand these things, like the scriptures say in the book of John. All right, we have received an unction from the Holy One. Okay, and we know of all things, right? And this time, so this is the book of Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, None of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded, in his spirit it had gathered them. So that's why. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you have to return back to your power source, okay, and read this Bible, you know, because, a hey, the wisdom of this world, 
is going to fail you, right? It speaks about that in the book of Corinthians. The, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. And you're truly going to see it in a time of trouble, man. Okay? You're truly going to see it in a time of trouble. All right? That's why it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. All right? And it's, uh, it says, none of these shall fail. And what it means by that is none of these prophecies are going to fail. All right. All these prophecies that are found written in the Bible will come to pass a hey, whether you believe it or not. Right. Uh, let's get Isaiah. Let's get Isaiah 42 and nine. And it reads, behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Right. So a hey, before a hey, these prop before these prophecies are right, spring forth. Yahweh Bashamal Shah has given us the understanding it to, underst it to understand it. All right. And we clearly can see that Babylon, the great America is coming to an end. And we clearly can see that it's going to be very hard times in this place and before the end comes. All right. It speaks about how evil shall increase and evils will increase, man. So as you can see in this video, if people are panic buying in a situation that isn't severely serious, how much more are right, when they close everything down again? All right, because they will be another uh, scam demic. And this is out of the mouth of Bill Snakes. Bill Snakes said you will see another um, shutdown. He said if you did not take the first one serious, you will take the next one serious, man. All right. So these, this is the mind of of these devils. And that's why King David. Let's get that real quick. It's <clears throat> locking. King David made the prayer. Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see? So this is the prayer. All right, to a disappoint him, which Yahweh Bashamal Shah is going to do. He will cast Esau, eat him down. All right. And the hopeful elect will be delivered, you know, from not only just Babylon the Great, but from the enemies, our enemies, man. Okay. Um, there was another one that I was meditating upon. But, hey, yeah, man, disappoint him. Esau, eat him as a devil. And. And he's going to do more things. That's why Revelation 12 verse 12 says that he come up with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. All right. And we're in that time right now, that short time where Esau Edom knows that, you know, his days are numbered. OK. And this is why you see. The evol not the evolution, but more so. OK, the production and Esau Edom kind of trying to speed things up as far as the technology with the karagma all right or more so revealing his plans you know you had the the silent pack about a week ago and so many things are happening through the pipeline that you know n big news will happen one day then the next day more big news happens so it's like you really never have time to really think of, think about what's happening because so many things are going on because a hey, the time is at hand. The time is at hand for hey, this kingdom, Esau Edom's rulership to come to an end. And before it comes to an end, all right, hey, it's gonna it's gonna be real dark. All right. So, you know, again, this was just dealing with the Port Union. All right, and of course they, uh, you know, they agreed to a deal, so it's over. But again, if panic buying, if they're panic buying when things aren't bad, how much more when a hey, all hell breaks loose, man, when shit truly hits the fan and hey, you're truly going to see the spirit of America, you're truly going to see everybody show their true colors. That's why the scriptures say in the book of Matthew 24 it says, because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold and iniquity is abounding. So prepare to see the love of many to wax cold, man. Prepare to see division. Prepare to see 
father against son, mother against daughter, brother against brother, sister against sister, man. All right. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. That's in the book of Second Ezra, man. All right. No pity upon his neighbor. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19, or let's let's begin at the 14 verse, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and, do, and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. All right. So we understand a hey, sword is an instrument of destruction. All right. So it says for sword and their destruction draw off nigh. For one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hand. So hey, this prophecy has not came to pass yet. All right. These prophetic visions that Ezra w was receiving. All right. In that time are getting ready to play out in the time that we're living in right now. It says for there shall be sedition among men. One evading one, it says, and evading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay, and you're seeing what's going on with the red party and the blue party, talking about the the Democratic and the Republican Party. You know, you have those that side with Trump, those that side with blue, you know, and guess what? They're trying to uh divide the northern kingdom with the southern kingdom. All right, so hey, best believe there's gonna be race riots, man. And hey, this is the time that we're living in right now. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because hey, there's gonna be blocks, roadblocks, city blocks, man. You know, Esau Edom is getting ready to come down with that control. He's getting ready to come down with that NWO, that C hip. Okay, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay, so you got to think about a time. So a devastating where a man shall be afraid. Okay, men, women, hey, everybody's going to be afraid, man. All right. Verse 19, it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So, again, this lines up with a man, um, it lines up with the love of many waxing cold. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, man. You know, so you're literally going to see, you know, friends, loved ones. They're going to be going against each other because of lack, uh, you know, a, a, a lack of thereof. You know, lack of bread, lack of water, shelter. It's truly going to be like the purge out here, man. All right, but it's, it's going to be worse. OK, but I would just meditate upon, you know, as far as what, as far as, um, you know, really more so meditate upon this video, man. It shows you that, you know, if people are panic buying and hoarding and something that's not even severe. All right. How much more when things really get bad out here, man? You know, the scripture speak about how a prudent man foreseeth the evil and, and hide it himself. And let me tell you this. It doesn't matter how much food you stock up. You know, it doesn't matter how much gas you have filled in your garage. If it's not meant for you to have it, hey, you ain't going to have it. Okay. You might just be saving all that for a man of the Lord to come across it. All right. So hey, if you are an Israelite. Again, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and a all Israel has been scattered. All right, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So it doesn't matter about your skin complexion. It doesn't matter about you know where you might be, you know, on the map right now, because we've been scattered. But if this message resonates with you, you know, you got to return back unto your power, who you ignorantly call God. And who you eagerly call Jesus Christ. All right. And again, the true name for the heavenly father is Yahweh. Meaning he is, he to be, he exists. And the true name for his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. Meaning he says he delivers. And you got to return back unto them. All right. Because not only will they keep you stable. All right. And they, if you are part of the hopeful let, you will be stable in the times to come. All right. But. Again, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability 
of thy times. So the wisdom and knowledge of the Bible all right, will, will keep you stable. And the hopeful elect have been building themselves up for the evil for the evil time, the dark days which we are approaching. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to make this lesson again. Didn't want to make it long, but a like, low willing nails that are fine. So until the next time, giving all praises, glory and honor to the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Kakudash, the bonus unto the apostles and elders in great millstone everywhere. Peace and blessing unto the elect. Uh, shalom.